Well, you likely have heard about the Biden administration's crackdown on junk fees. Those are the late fees credit card companies can charge. So how will it affect your monthly bill? Fox Sites' Kendall Green takes a look. In its latest effort to clamp down on junk fees, the Biden administration announced an $8 cap on credit card late fees. The new rule under the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau requires banks to either keep late fees to no more than $8 or explain why they should charge more. It is a bold move by the Biden administration. There, there's no question about that. By successfully implementing the rule, more than 45 million borrowers could save nearly $220 in late fees on average. That is money that they can use to pay down their debt, which is what they really ultimately want to do. The CFPB estimated banks raked in $14 billion last year with average $32 credit card late fees. As the Biden administration predicts, the measure could save borrowers a total of $10 billion annually. That's if the plan isn't derailed by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, which vowed to file a lawsuit to block the cap. When you trim the potential credit card late fees by two-thirds or three-fourths, that's revenue out of their pocket. Americans accumulated more than $1 trillion in credit card debt in the third quarter last year, the highest on record. Regardless of an imposed late fee reduction, financial planners advise those with fees racking up pay on time, even if that means making minimum payments. Not only are you not going to have the late payment, but you also won't have the damage to your credit score that being late on a payment is going to have. If the proposed cap withstands legal challenges, banks could still, however, take their own means to recoup their losses. That could look like higher fees on other things like balance transfers or annual fees or other fees that are kind of a little further down in the fine print. In that case, borrowers, after clearing their debt, can go and capitalize on that bank's competition. Remember, you are the consumer. You can always walk your business to a competitor and be your own advocate. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News.